Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do that combustion chamber exercise in Fusion. I will upload uh, Fusion 360 start file because uh, you cannot use the other one. So I've got three sketches and let's start with an extrude. So go for surface extrude with this sketch here. Let's say 25. Okay, and the tap angle of 5 or minus 5, I go for minus 5 degrees, and that's okay. Then another extrude with that sketch here. It should be symmetric. That's half length, and that would be 40. Now let's add a fillet up here, 5 mm, and not variable radius, but constant radius, and this should be 5 mm. Now I want to trim, maybe hide those sketches, so go for trim, that's the tool, this should be removed, ok, repeat that command, that's the tool, this should be removed, ok, now stitch it, 1, 2, and OK. Now in order to do the fillet with variable radius, there is a little problem in Fusion. Seems that variable radius can only increase or decrease linear, not cubic. And therefore I can't go from 1 mm to five, uh, 10 mm here. That's not possible. At least I couldn't do it. So. Let's go for that fillet, change it to variable radius, select tangent chain this edge and now I can add points. So I could add a point here, one millimeter, another one here, one millimeter, over here, go for the green point, that's sort of the end point here one millimeter and this should be of course one millimeter as well now i can add a point here i could try 2.5 yeah works same here 2.5 go over there 2.5 here 2.5 then add another point here in the middle maybe 3.5 seems to work 3.5 3.5 always go for the green dot here 3.5 and now I could try and go for 4.5 or even 5. 4.5. Yeah, let's try 5. No. So 4.5 here and try 4.5 over there as well. Yeah, and that's. more is not possible because the increase of that variance along that edge is only linear and not cubic okay now let's hide this body because that's the first chamber and it's ready or finished so let's bring back the sketches i will need Another extrude with that sketch again symmetric again 40 millimeter distance. Let's add that fillet up here 5 millimeter. And of course, this should not be variable radius but constant radius. And okay, then I will need another extrude here but in the other direction maybe 10, 10 should do, and the tape 
upper angle might be five yes now let's trim that surface with that sketch is that possible trim this surface with no sorry that's first i have to select the tool this should be the tool yes and this should be removed and okay now hide the sketches and do a loft so let's go for the loft there is the loft go for chain selection and i want to go for guide type center line i select this edge here that's not uh, that's the center line no sorry profiles this one and add that one so no need for a center line really and now let's move this dot over here maybe up there no even more maybe to this point looks okay and i want to go for of course tangent condition here and tangent condition there and you could of course change the tangency weight but i will leave it at one looks okay so confirm let's reverse the normal with this one and hide that body here so go for modify reverse normal of this surface confirm and then stitch those together so this one and that one and okay and i'm done so hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye